Fanny and Gio, you have committed to live your lives together as husband and wife. As many of you know, um, Fanny and Gio have known each other for quite a while. Gio mentioned that when he first met Fanny, he thought, what a cute, sweet young girl. Um, but that's all he thought at the moment. <laughs> he had no idea what the future held for them. Feeney also knew something very special about Gio. When she met him at 13, she had an immediate crush on him. <laughs> but they went there again, living their lives. And as Fanny grew, she began to pray for her marriage, for her future husband. And she prayed very specific prayers because she wanted to know she had the right man. She had prayed that whoever her spouse was would love soccer, would play soccer, and they would play soccer together and grow in it together. And she also prayed that whoever her spouse was would call her Elizabeth. Now, Fanny had forgot about these prayers until one day she read in a journal she had written and saw it again. And when she saw it, she remembered and she knew that God has had his hand on this relationship and that Gio was the man because Gio was the answer to both those prayers. Every morning the sun will rise Stretch your arms and kiss the sky To say hello, hello Hello Dios sabía que necesitaba una mujer como tú. Gracias por hacerme sentir que a tu lado todo es posible. Gracias por enseñarme que puedo siempre ser una mejor persona. Gracias, baby. <laughs> We don't want to wait. <laughs> These golden moments when it all begins Another chance to breathe it in Hello, hello, hello. Gio, um, I've always had a crush on you since I was 13. Um, I actually never thought this day would ever happen, as, um, that I would be married one day in front of someone. I never thought anybody was worthy to be married to or that would ever respect me and love me the way that you do. Today I get to marry my best friend and the love of my life. And I can say that with true honesty. You are the only person who has ever truly loved me for being me. Even with my flaws, it's never too much for you. 